Hi guys, I'm Kev from sonsofcane.com and in this video we're going to look at extended crook strikes. As usual, the guy in the chair, the Chris. Hello guy in the mobile chair, the Kev. All we're going to do, we've looked at crook strikes before, but we're just going to tweak it a little bit and add something to it. Please give us a bit of feedback on this one, because we know you like to uh, help us as we travel on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe, because Kev always does. Um, the bell apparently is down here, but apparently they like it up here. And then what we're going to do is get the fear, catch and release, and free that fear. Right. As you know, when I'm striking people, I'm not fond of hitting people like this. However, I got a, we got a recommend in one of the comments about looking at some Kali, Silat, etc. And I did. And I saw some nice karambit techniques, which we are going to stay away from nice stuff, to be honest. However, it gave us an idea. And I do like a good idea. Normally, what we would be doing is actually hooking and dragging. So we're doing a strike with this. What we will be doing now, so I block the technique, I'm striking with the butt end of the cane crook, so I'm striking through, and then I'm dragging it back. What I'm not trying to do is lock him up, I'm just trying to reorientate him and tear something. So this will be coming through, and I'm dragging back. I don't necessarily want this, but what I'm trying to do is drag it through. This gives me a nice target here. So I'm striking through and I'm tearing all the time. That's the difference. Normally we'd say we'd strike here, we'd hook the neck, and we've got lots of lovely techniques we could do. From here, I want to pull that back across the same point. Now one of the principles of Wing Chun with our karate, if I create an injury, say here, I'm going to keep attacking that point. I'll keep attacking until he's no longer a threat. I'm not doing one hit. I forget about it. That's a big mistake to make. Look at the crook. I'm here. This doesn't take a lot of strength. You don't need a big grip strength for this. You just need light techniques and you're dragging. Across here. You can imagine what's coming through here. Dragging. Coming across the face, hooking behind the jaw. So these are dragging techniques rather than controlling techniques. There is a difference. This works well with two canes, and it also works well in the chair. In the Chinese system, we love our animals, and watching Chris do this, it's almost like tiger claw. When you're coming in, and you're literally dragging away. So this is what I'm going to do with the cane. Now, if I come in, and I hit, and I just pull down gently, you feel it? Yeah. That's now, we spoke in an earlier video about grip strength. So if the punch comes in and I've blocked with this hand and I just literally tomahawk down, but as I do, this hand's then going to come in, tap on, and help the drag. You okay? Yeah. Help the drag through. Or I could have come underneath and drag through. Even if I'm catching clothing, it's still turning in. Perfect one is he comes up and I'm dragging up. I would aim for the groin area or I'm going to come up to the armpit and already, just before I've even touched, then can feel that uneasy certainty yeah. that this is going to hurt. And it would. Yeah. Of course, then I'll come in with the second strike. Mm -hmm. But if you think, if you're mixing like the hungar with the tiger, and the cane all in one, even if you only just scrape and it comes through, yeah. you feel that? Yeah. Very, that, very minimal. That was two yeah. finger, yeah. or one finger, one thumb. Just that little gentle hit to start with, yeah. and as soon as I hit and I felt it hit, I actually pulled off because that would then yeah. come through. In between the ribs is a thing called the costal space, and it's cartilage. If you damage that cartilage, trust me, you get pain for the rest of your life. 
I did when I was 13. I've got a tear left side in the costal about rib four or five. Um, and that was just doing weight training. It gets cold, I get a chest pain. Every year I've had it. So if you are getting that bit where you've extended the arm, you've lifted the rib cage up, you've spread all these ribs, your costal space is there, there, feel it? Yeah, I feel there, it. Yeah. There, there, there. Oh, that's, yeah. a that's the floater one. And if you're hitting them and you're just dragging through, <coughs> you're not hooking on. I can kidney, but I'm just going to hit through and drag. It's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you liked the video. As usual, please keep them comments coming. We love reading them, and you're giving us some really good ideas for future videos as well. Please subscribe, please care, please share, and I'd like to shout out to my family in London who are avid fans, so... Hi family. And I'd like to thank you them all for the lovely roast dinners, because <laughs> I had a rather large amount of them over a two day period, which was lovely. Don't forget to ring the bell, don't forget to... I just wondered how free this cane would go. <laughs> But we'll 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 free fly. the we'll free the flip. Fly my pretty fly!